NBC 5's Blake Lee McHugh joins us live in studio with just how dangerous this is. It's tonight's top story at 6. Blakely? Kristen Craig, there are many safety risks that a pilot has to consider when providing air support on fires. The last thing they need to worry about are drones affecting their operations. It's really dangerous to have any kind of unauthorized aircraft, drones especially, because they're difficult to see because they're so small in nature. A drone interfering with air operations poses a problem for a number of reasons. The second there's an unauthorized aircraft being a drone in the area, we have to ground everything because it puts our pilots at risk and it puts all the people working on that fire under the helicopter at risk too in the event of a crash. It's not only dangerous, but puts the firefight at risk. Helicopters are one of the most effective tools in putting out a wildfire. Our best resource is aircraft, specifically helicopters, because we're able to get into the steep terrain, do a lot of bucket drops. And the Jackson County Sheriff's Office adds it's also illegal. It, aside from the interfering and the slowing down of the operation of the firefighting, which is a crime in itself, directly putting these people at risk that are there to help and are there to make the situation better and, and bring an end to these fires is, uh, is a crime as well. There's a temporary flight restriction over all wildfires to protect pilots and crews. It's a lot of activity going on and a drone on top of that. It's it's no good news. Already this year there have been at least 17 cases of drones shutting down air operations for the U.S. Forest Service. But this is the first drone incident that has shut down operations in Oregon this year. According to the Jackson County Sheriff's Office, this incident occurred near Burnt Peak, which is adjacent to Dodes Creek. If you know anything about it, you're asked to call them.